In today's Madden video, I'm going to take you inside my head in a live online game and kind of share what I'm thinking and why I do what I do in a live online game of Madden. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video today. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level and often times I share tips, tricks, and strategies um, for you to be able to do just that. Now in today's video, we're kind of breaking down just some a live online match and kind of sharing my thoughts as I play a game. And hopefully what this will be able to do is we'll show you not only what I do, but why I do what I do and what you can learn from both my success and my failures. Now as far as offense and defense, I'm running my New England Offensive Guide and I'm running my 4-6 Defensive ebook. Um, and you can pick both of those up in the description of this video. Now, uh, what I'm going to do starting out is I'm going to sit in a lot of cover four uh, starting out. And the primary reason that I'm going to do that is because I feel like cover four is one of the harder uh, coverages to get over, at least cover four stock. And I'm just kind of interested to see what his route combos are. What are some of the things that he's going to do as far as passing the ball? Where is he going to look? And I'm going to let my guys eat. Now, as far as abilities go, I have Acrobat on all of my corners, um, my four backline corners. I'm sorry, not my nickel corner. He doesn't have anything on him. But then I also have uh, three. Um, I have three pass rush, pass rushers, and they all have abilities as well. So he's going to come out. Looks like he's running some. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the playbook that he's in. I think his first team was tight slots. Then I believe I think that was I form twins. Um, I'm pretty sure it was I form twins he was in. And now he's coming on gun spread. So he's coming on in four or five different formations uh, to start the game. Now what I'm going to do here is go to a little bit of a conservative approach. We're going to go with a cover five. And basically if there's anything over the middle of the field, I have to get that and allow my guys to eat. We're able to get a pass, uh, a throwaway. I think he went in like deep comebacks or something like that from that formation. And it looks like we're going to be able to get a punt um, right out of the gate. Now, in my personal opinion, um, you always want to go punt return middle. But the one thing that you have to remember is sometimes people just get crazy. So I like to take this guy on the um, and just back him off in case they do anything crazy like fake punt pass or something like that. And if he kicks the ball to you, um, obviously you want to try to return it because oftentimes you can actually break a tackle, break a long run. Now in offense, I'm running my New England Patriots offensive ebook, and this ebook is probably, in my opinion, um, the clear-cut best offense in Madden 21. And the reason why is because it is something that get, it just gives you answers against pretty much every single defense that you're going to face in Madden NFL uh, 21. You have answers against man. You have answers against zone coverage. You have answers against max coverage. Answers against the blitz. The ebook is over 300 pages long, and uh, we break down over 36 formations in the ebook. We truly break down every single thing that you can do from this amazing playbook in Madden 21. And so, if you're interested in picking it up after you watch this video, I'd highly encourage you to do that. Go ahead and pick it up in the description of this video. But what we're going to do to start out is we're going to spend a lot of time. I've shown a lot of trips tied in, and uh, what I want to show today is I want to show you this. Um, U trips formation. This I think is one of the most underrated formations in the New England playbook, maybe in the entire game. And what you'll see is this formation, while it's not sexy by any means, you know, it's not necessarily fancy, there are some things that you can do. Um, you know, obviously, if your opponent is running the same play over and over again or different things like that, different answers that you can get. What I like about it is how good of a job it does at just simply working the ball up and down the field against a good player. And it's going to be dang near impossible for them to stop you if you make the right read and if you read it uh, properly. And as you can see, we're able to get out to a good stop. That's tight end whip. I broke down this play on my YouTube channel today. You guys probably saw some of those breakdowns. We're going to be doing a lot of tight end whip and scat. Those are my two favorite plays from the U trips. They're not everybody's favorite. Uh, they might not even be the most dominant, but I love the route. I love the spacing that it allows you to get on your field. Now, I personally am someone that subscribes to going no huddle every single play. Um, and, you know, some people subscribe to that, some people don't. The primary reason I like to do it is because I like to keep um, the defense in a position where they can't really, you know, just make it harder for them to adjust. Um, I feel like offense is all about uh, execution. And if you're able to execute at a high level, um, you're going to be effective. And so I want to limit the opportunity that the defense has to be able to consistently adjust um, throughout the course of a game. So I would much rather give up a little bit of fatigue 
uh, to be able to do this. Now, I know some people would completely disagree with this statement, and I 100% understand it, but this is just kind of how I like to run it. I like to go into huddle. I like to move fast. Uh, I like to do some of those things whenever I play. I just think it does make a little bit of a difference, um, you know, if you're able to maybe catch them. You know, I can go into an audible, and I can be in this or that or whatever. Um, now he's got to adjust. He's got to move, um, you know, pretty quick here. You know, and if he's not paying attention, I could hit him with a bubble screen, as you see right here. I could hit him with a quick inside zone. And right now, we're in a really, really good spot um, offensively. I'm actually going to run some five wide, I think, too, in this, in this video and kind of show you um, just a little bit about why I think this five wide is so powerful. Now, obviously, what I love about it, too, is that you can audible down into these little um, ace close type sets. Uh, I think this ace close is really, really good as well. Um, and we're able to get out and get a nice early head start. I'm actually going to go for two, and the primary reason I'm going to start going for two in these videos is honestly just to get you guys some more reps uh, with this uh, with this ebook, and just share a little bit more uh, as far as why you know I think some of the things and some of the concepts work. Now, what I typically like to do in the red zone is I like to go to something like this. Now, here he's showing me man coverage. So what you'll notice on this outside is I got this hitch route. I got this route to Chad Johnson. He's actually going to call a timeout, which is perfect. It's going to give me a little bit more time to set some of these sets up um, down here, the single back munch ace. But he's going to go to kind of a basic, uh, looking like he's going to go to some kind of you know simple, um, you know, under center, under center defense. And so that's exactly what we want. When we come out in this five wide, I believe this five wide from the empty ace Patriot is one of the most powerful formations in the game because of the lack of ability that people have to press it. And I lo absolutely love five wide. I think, I think five wide is so underrated um, in this game. We're actually going to go ahead and pass the ball here. And what you're going to see, and unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and burn a timeout. I forgot to get my substitutions right, and I don't have the right players in the right positions. So we're going to go ahead and take a timeout as well. I know this is a lot for a conversion, um, but I just want to make sure that I get this right. And, and what we're going to do, uh, mainly for you guys, is we're going to make sure that we got Chad Johnson. He's going to go right in this little pocket right here. we got Tyreek Hill here, and then we have obviously our two tight ends um, over here as well. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to run the smash corner. This is my favorite play um, in the red zone. I think this play is amazing. I think it's I, – I, I just cannot say – enough good things about this play this play is going to work for you it's going to be effective and basically you're just trying to choose uh, where his user is on this and Tyreek Hill ended up dropping it for us unfortunately um, but you saw the route was kind of there uh, if we would have waited maybe a little bit longer uh, we would have had that wide open uh, in the back or in that in that end zone position so you know now we're still in up one possession if he goes in and scores a touchdown he's gonna be right back in the game he's probably gonna even be ahead um, with our decision to go for two, which is fine. Um, I just want to make sure that what I'm again, I want to play with the, I want to play in front of me. I don't want to like, I just want to be disciplined. I think part of uh, Madden, you know, part of, you know, people playing Madden, I don't think people always play very disciplined and sound defense. I think if you just play sound defense in this year's game, you'll be more, you'll be surprised at how well that will work out. And what I mean by sound defense is making sure that you're, um, deep happening if you're in a cover three making sure that you're running um cover threes cover fours if you're running cover two put the middle linebacker in a deep blue you know protect yourself a little bit play a little bit more bend but don't break don't try to just um you know you know play sound run defense don't try to just shoot everything and blow everything up with your user right take and you see right there they're gonna throw you picks if you just do those simple things now we're just gonna go ahead and go down here because i want to give you more reps with the offense and show you a little bit more um, about this why off trips pass now how do you uh, decide you know what play to call when honestly I'm gonna stick in tight end whip a lot uh, and primary the primary reason that I'm doing that is because I'm trying to create a consistency so I know what he's gonna do it's gonna force him to play a very specific type of defense that he honestly probably doesn't want to play at all he probably just wants to sit and he wants to be able to adjust and do all these things. When we go fast, when that's the other reason I like playing fast, is you're going to kind of catch them sometimes. Like for right here, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of watching to see. Um, he is going to run press man coverage on that right side, but he didn't shade up. And as you can see, Tyreek Hill is going to run right over the top of that press coverage every single day of the week. 
and we're going to be able to get that cover, that uh, that beater. So that's a little bit about the U trips. Um, if you want to pick up the ebook, there's a link in the description for you to be able to do that. Also, if you want a sample formation of the ebook, all you have to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's in the top left-hand corner of the description uh, or of the screen right there. It's also um, in the top left-hand corner of the description as well uh, in the in the video. So shoot me a text message if you want to receive that. We will be live streaming tonight at um, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I'd love to invite you there as well. And we'll be running you trips and we'll be talking and, and basically laughing and showing things that you can do. And we'll be playing members and all that fun stuff. So if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd highly encourage you to pick up that ebook. I think it's the best book that I've ever written. And it's really, really powerful and potent and allows you to play offense multiple different ways. You can play run heavy, you can play pass heavy, you can play balanced, you can play um, spread, you can play compressed. You can do all kinds of different things with this guide. Um, and again, a lot of people were intimidated by the size of it. They said they wouldn't be able to do everything if they had a certain size or whatever. Um, it's not simple enough, it's hard to grasp. Well, a lot of people have been able to pick this guide up and the next day are torching people um, or that evening they're torching people um, with their passing schemes or even on the ground and they're dominating people with this offense so i'd highly encourage you to pick it up the link is in the description and i want to thank you for your time i want to thank you for your support and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time